Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Genealogy TV. My name is Connie Knox, a lifelong genealogist. Today, I'm starting a new segment, a new series called An App for That. And I am going to talk about apps that are specific, for, uh, really good for genealogy. So what I want to do is share with you an app called TurboScan when we come back. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am so glad you're here. I want to share with you an app that I absolutely love. It's probably my very favorite app for uh, genealogy, and it's really not a genealogy app at all. It is called TurboScan. What TurboScan does is it allows you to scan documents quickly and easily on your cell phone. So I love it because if I'm at a library and there is a line at the copy machine or the copy machine is broken or you have to pay for copies or on and on and on, there's even if you're at the office, you can use this for other things that are not necessarily uh, genealogy related. But here's some tips that I'm going to use for that. So I'm going to show you this app and you press on TurboScan. And the documents I have in here already are documents I've scanned in the past, but what you do is you grab the camera and it starts to show you uh, what you can capture. I always, I like to capture the cover of the book, so I'm going to do that. Now I realize it's a red book kind of on a red background, but it gives you these corners that you can adjust the scan because I took too much of a picture, right? I don't need all the desktop and all that. So I can pull that in and I hit done and it captures that page, but I want to capture more than just the cover of the book. So I'm going to hit next and in the lower right corner, there is a little paper with a plus on it. You click on that and we open the book and whenever I am copying um, documents, whenever I'm copying pages from a book, say I've got my family is on, you know, page 360 or something. I want to capture everything um, that has to do with that document. So I'm going to capture the front cover and uh, that one captured nicely. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to say done. And I can actually, if you'll notice, I can change the, the darkness settings on this page. So I'm going to set it kind of right in the middle for that page. And I'm going to say next. So I click on next. And now I've got the cover and the inside cover. I also like to capture a lot of the front matter. It's, um, and remember that there are copyright issues here. So you want to make sure that you are aware that you're using this only for personal use. You're not going to be putting it in a document that you're going to sell later or anything like that. Please be respectful of the authors. And so I am going to say next. I have now up to three documents. Here's another little tip. I use business cards as uh, my bookmarks. And the reason I do that is because one, it, now if I were in a library, I would not do this, but in my own books, or I maybe I've loaned them to somebody, it, it says whose book it is, right? So I'm gonna hit the plus again. I'm gonna take a picture of this page because this is where my family is. Now keep in mind, when you're scanning, you also want to scan um, the index page that your family is on. Now some people scan the entire index. Um, that's up to you, but um, so if I grab the index page where my family surname is, that way if I find somebody later on that I believe is in my family, I can then go back and go, oh, I need to go back to that book and I need to go back to that page because now I've, you know, found that that person is part of my, my family. So I hit next on that. And then on the top where it says document, and it's got a little six there because there's six pages, I can click on that family and I would go in and put the entire um, information about the title. Okay, so I have that in and done. And now that is in my list. Now the cool part about this 
So I can click on that document and I can email it to myself. So if you look at the little icon in the lower left corner with the arrow on it, you click on that and you can send it elsewhere. So you can send it to email yourself or you can email it as a PDF to others. And so I'm going to email that to myself. It already pre-populates my email address and adds the document as a PDF. And all I have to do is hit send and off it goes. So that is TurboScan. I hope you enjoyed that tip. It is absolutely one of my favorite apps for genealogy as well as many other uses. So if you like that, uh, and you are not a subscriber of this channel, I hope you will consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. It does nothing uh, as far as um, hurting you, costing you, or anything. It is free uh, on YouTube, but if you will just hit subscribe, it really does help me out a bunch. And if you'll ring the bell, you'll get notified the next time I upload uh, videos. Thanks for watching Genealogy TV.